is that we are live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Christina. I am so pumped, so pumped for our live. I call it like a show, a podcast. Sometimes I need to like solidify it. But guys, for those of you who join me every Tuesday, I have something extra special for you tonight. This is a fellow colleague of mine, fellow pharmacist. Tonight is going to be a little bit different. Okay. We'd love to kind of shake it up a little bit. It's not going to be straight Airbnb, right? But it is a talk where we're going to be discussing the the entrepreneurial journey. And we have a special, special invitation. So I have with me Dr. Christina uh tarantola it says i was gonna say fontana but I it didn't is know. that's <laughs> okay. my maiden name you call me okay. whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> i was like i got thrown off <laughs> dr christina fontana and we are talking about her journey from a full-time pharmacist to um you know full-time entrepreneurship so she is a health coach and she helps other pharmacists and other healthcare professionals monetize their magic who doesn't want to monetize you know, your gifts that you have been given. And so we, we're just super, super pumped about tonight's talk. Had it not been for me venturing into entrepreneurship, specifically with real estate investing, I just wouldn't know, you know, at all what this world would be about. I wouldn't know the wins, the ups, I wouldn't know the the downs because it's it's almost cyclical, right? There are challenges, there are phases, yeah. but I'm just super, super pumped that we have uh, individuals like Dr. Christina that are out there who are willing to to challenge the narrative of, you know, you're this one trick pony, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier in the green room, like, you know, well, you have a good job. Why would you want to do something else. And, and I think that was part of my survivor's guilt, to be honest. I was thinking to myself, well, I've got this great job, but why do I feel so like uncomfortable? Why do I feel so uh, like I was made to do more? I was made to do yes. something. You know, why do I feel that? And I I was able to secretly <laughs> chair, you know, challenge that narrative and and kind of dip a toe into entrepreneurship, but I, I just love the community that you've created that has given so many of us permission, right? Permission to, to experiment, to, to seek out uh, this brave new world. <laughs> and so I am just so humbled and grateful that you're here with us, Dr. Christina. I'm going to allow you to just Introduce yourself. Let us know who is Chris, Dr. Christina Fontana and how did you first get into pharmacy? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like in my mind, I have so many things that I want to just say. Um, first of all, I want to just thank you for your support, your unwavering support for me and what I do and for this conference that we're going to be talking about. And I'm so grateful to be here and to, you know, I'm so grateful to have you in my world and that we're going to be partnering and all of the fun things that we have going on. So I just wanted to say that first and foremost, and I love, um, before I even introduce myself, I don't want to lose this thought. I love how you use the word experiment because that is really what we weren't given permission to do in, in traditional pharmacy. It's that you have to stay in this box and there are a rigid set of rules and this is how it goes. And you, you don't, go out of that because if you do it's there's a negative consequence and so whenever we're looking at the framework of how we were conditioned you know as pharmacists it's like you know follow the rules you can't express yourself you don't have a voice to be able to say hey i need a bathroom break like you guys human basic needs um and so when you go into entrepreneurship it's totally different and so i love that you brought that concept of experimentation and creativity and innovation and this what you talked about too about really it's unlocking those gifts that we have because i felt the same way in pharmacy i'm like i have so much creativity i have these things inside of me that are waiting to be unlocked and so that is what I help pharmacists do now is turn your gifts to gold. And that is really because you are gold. 
anybody watching this, I want you before I'm like, before I even introduce who I am, I want you to know you are gold. And so many of us grow up with these, the conditioning of you have to be a certain way. And I am here to break that open and to say, no, you can do anything that your heart desires. And I am living proof of that. And so I just want you to know that before we even dive into this. So Oh yeah, my gosh. Love yeah. If we were to dive in, I've got so it would be like five hours of us chit chatting because it's I know so good. <laughs> so good, but I will I'll I'll hold it in. We're gonna yeah. Yeah. And I so I'll I'll introduce myself, person, but I had right? to say that first. So <laughs> no, yeah, my name is Dr. Christina Fontana. I am a pharmacist, five-time author, rapid transformation business coach, and creator of the healers and healthcare movement, which is really geared to empower pharmacists pharmacists and pharmacy students as well to really think outside the box, to turn your gifts to gold and to scale profitable healing businesses. And I know that there are so many people out there, um, pharmacists, doctors, nurses, we essentially have the same, you know, clientele, uh, you and I, where we're really trying to reach that healthcare professional who's burnt out, who knows that they have gifts to share. And there's a lot of these healing specialties that are popping up in that, that I'm seeing in the last five years, you know, holistic wellness, um, herbalism, functional medicine, pharmacogenomics, all of these different healing specialties. And I really feel that's where healthcare is going. So I'm super excited to be here and yeah, we're transforming healthcare. Oh, I absolutely love it. And it, and it is so needed, right? Oh my goodness. So what, what has been your journey? How did you get started with pharmacy? So my dad was a pharmacist and I worked in his store. I always joke and say I was like born in the store because, you know, I was sweeping at three years old. Like my dad was kind of like, you know, get that, get that broom (laughs) and let's go. So, you know, sweeping the floors, helping people find cards. Um, I was the cashier and worked my way up until, you know, I was going to be an intern and a pharmacy student. And, you know, I followed in my dad's footsteps because that was the safe choice And I knew that I wanted to help people, but I realized as I was getting into my fifth year of pharmacy school, that little voice, it was like a whisper that you mentioned before. It was like, I know I'm meant for something more. I know that something inside of me, it's like the now or never. And I, it was like that, that path, that uh, poem about the two roads diverged in a wood. It was really that it was like, am I going to stay safe and take over this pharmacy? Or am I going to go follow that nudge? even though my entire family's pissed off at me right now <laughs> that I'm t- that I'm looking at that op- that option so i had a lot of resistance i had a lot of you know my dad couldn't even look me in the eye he thought it was, i was betraying the family my brother you know was cursing me out and saying all of these like just really bad just tons of abuse tons of just you know resistance and they couldn't understand it And I still went for it because I was like, I just know in my gut that this is going to be something. And I didn't know what it was going to be. And I'm still evolving now, but, you know, I wound up actually, you know, I I know for brevity, I'll keep it really simple and sweet, but I got kicked out of my house. I know that you've read my story before, you know, I was homeless. I was living out of my Mazda three, my tiny car, I had to roll up all my clothes and put it into my car. And it was because I spoke up for the first time in my life and I took my power back and I stated, this is what I desire. And I got punished for it, you know, kicked out and all of that. And I didn't care because I knew in that moment that I was making a decision that was scary as hell, but that was going to lead me down a path beyond anything that would have been safe in that other route. So, wow. Wow. Yep. So for those of you who are listening to this right now, I I really want you to take a moment and ask yourself, where is it in your life that you're playing it safe? Where yeah. is it in your life that you're playing it safe? Because it might be a place where you're actually playing it so, small, you know? And in order to level up, you you got to really play it all out, you know, just for you to just, this is the family business, Dr. Christina. Are you kidding me right now? You're going to do what? I was like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you were out. And, and I just, I'm, I'm super, I'm, I'm, 
I, I got to tell you, so coming from a background of being a little girl from Haiti, you know, the poorest country in the Western hemisphere, yeah. the, the, what's held up as, you know, the ultimate win is that doctorate of pharmacy or the, you know, the attorney and, yeah. and that is it. And so it's from a different you know, angle, but I, I know, I know that feeling of, oh my goodness, you know, if I divert from this path, there's going to be, gonna leave me. Yeah. Yeah. Or be yeah. pissed at me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So I, I just think this conversation is very, very timely because I know a lot of colleagues of mine who are in that same position, you know, not necessarily from uh, the standpoint of expectations from their, you know, maternal or paternal family, but you know, this is who I am, right? This is who I am. What what would I do if I did not, you know, perform as a pharmacist? Then who am I, right? And and they're crying on the way to work, not from a figurative perspective, a literal perspective, crying yeah. on the way to work. And when the suggestion is being shared, well, what about this other thing that you're talking about, or this other like oh no that's <laughs> that's for other people and so I think I, I just wow <laughs> I'm at a loss for words that's so good all right yeah. so I'll go ahead I was just gonna say well and you know that that voice was so small but mm -hmm. you keep taking steps into the unknown and you're always supported even with this conference that we're putting on I was scared to to put it on. I'm like, I've never done something at this size, but it is amazing when you, when you trust that voice, that intuitive nudge that like, Hey, I should be doing this thing. And then you actually take action towards it. The scary, bold action you're supported. So, so many pharmacists I know are, are afraid of the, of failure, but I want to reframe that for you to see again, because back to what I talked about in the beginning, it's like, we've, we're used to following rules, A plus B equals C in entrepreneurship. It's totally different. So you can mix all the ingredients in the kitchen and you could, maybe it doesn't work out the way that you thought, but maybe it works out better. Maybe you can pivot and repurpose a launch. Say you have like a failed launch or you don't get the number of clients. Okay. Well then repurpose that content and create something else out of it. Or, you know, it's learning how to pivot. It's having those essential skills of, like you said, experimenting, being curious. Um, but you will be faced off with yourself, with yourself, with fears, with your patterns. And this is where I come in. And I love diving in with women and men to help empower them to see that when you get out of your own way and you get past these survival patterns that are really trying to keep you safe in the old realm, that you can create a life and a business that is that has such a, hum, uh, a huge, humongous impact on the world. And I feel like to me, that is, that is really what this Healers in Healthcare conference is all about, is getting out of that box of the comfort zone and I've got you, I'm going to hold you in this space. I am creating a safe, loving space to have you experiment, to have you learn and, and be childlike and play. And oh my gosh, we're going to be doing so many fun things, but it's getting you out of that logical place to expand into the infinite possibilities that are available for you when you just follow that voice. So if you've been watching my content. If you're watching this video and you're like, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I should go just come to the conference and let this be the first step that is getting you to like the, the breadcrumb trail. It's getting you to that next point in your career or your business and taking that action in a safe space, right? So it's like out of the comfort zone, but it's still in a safe space where you are going to be networking with people who like Rachel, like imagine being in the in a room with rock stars like that and learning and growing and networking in a safe place. That's really my intention. Yeah. And I'm super pumped about it because I know um in the green room we were talking about how when I first took my foray into entrepreneurship, there were there weren't, you know, a lot of communities where you could do this, right? There weren't a lot of pharmacists who were um, before yep. thinking in this way. And so just really appreciative of this space that you're curating because, well, tell us a little bit about uh, your first 
or a, a Dr. Christine, what were some of the challenges that, that you faced when you first started? Oh my goodness. I had so many blocks. I had like every, every like people pleasing perfectionism, unworthiness, like you name it. I had it. And I'm, I still, I'm always, I have a nervous system coach that I work with. I, you know, I have my own traumas that come up and get triggered in my business. I mean, Mm -hmm. you're managing your team, you're, you're doing, you know, social media marketing, you're doing all of these different things. So, Mm -hmm. you know, I think that was the biggest thing that I was challenged with in the beginning was not knowing how to navigate what was happening inside of me, because I had zero confidence in, in my ability to be a coach back when I started 2012. So 11 years ago. And so I, I wish I would have had a coach like, you know, a transformation coach to help me accelerate the path. And I've had so many different coaches and Tony Robbins and invested in so many different mentors. I think support is so huge for this journey. And so that's why I think, you know, I, I always create experiences that I wish I would have had. And so this is something that I feel like I wish I would have had the love and the support and that person that's taking your hand and walking across the scary bridge with you. That's Mm. me. And I want people to feel that love and that support. And like, I've got you, you're here with me. You're here with Rachel. Like that is the environment that I strive to create as the cancer that I am. (laughs) Right. So we, we strive to create, you know, and you create it too. The luxury, beautiful experiences environment is huge. Exactly. So yeah, yep. yeah, I absolutely love it. And I think it, it ties back into um, what she mentioned a little bit earlier is, you know, being afraid of failure, right? And you really in business, there's no such thing as failure. That's my opinion. I think yep. you, you either win or you learn. And and this is where you're right. We do get to experiment. We do get to uh, navigate, you know, challenges and everything that occurs, occurs you know, for us, it's information that we're able to gather, you know, and, and then, you know, uh, iterate upon it. Whereas, you know, when it comes to, you know, you dosing that, you know, pediatric, you know, TPN, yeah, I'm going to need you to not experiment with that. I'm going to yeah, yeah. that to perfection. Like that needs to be perfect. So we can't necessarily apply that to entrepreneurship, right? Entrepreneurship is like a series of failing forward, failing forward until we kind of get our groove really. And even when we get our groove, you know, it could be a seasonality, you know, or, you know, repositioning our messaging, a number of things that we may need to tweak. So I'm here for it. I actually lean into it now. Whereas before, like if I didn't get the results I was anticipating, that was it. But now it's like, oh, that that flopped. And my team was like, oh no. I was like, no, it's okay. I know exactly what happened. Yeah. We launched it 30 days later. And you know, your problem solved, and you know, six figures. It's like, okay. So this is definitely, you know, doable. I get it. And you just learn from it. And sometimes it costs something to learn from it. It's like, okay, I just spent all this money on ads and now, you know, right. You know, did I lose it? Not necessarily. It was a learning. It was information. We're going to debrief and make sure we write this down and know, you know, what not to do next time, or here's how we retarget. And we, we can just kind of fine tune a little bit more. And it it sounds um, difficult, I think, to, to, to make it, you know, cross that bridge from here to there, but it, it's the conversations that we have at this next level and just getting in the room with the, those who are operating at, you know, the level that you wish to operate in one day, I think is, is, is very key. And I'm so excited about some of the sneak peek that you gave us about the conference. Could you tell us a little bit more about the healers conference? Yeah. So the healers and healthcare conference is in Cincinnati from May 5th to the 7th. And this really, the vision that I have for this is to just bring together healers and healthcare, pharmacists, students, doctors, nurses, healers to be empowered to, again, move beyond what you think, like, you know, you're with yourself every day, you're with your business every day to learn new things that will expand what you think is possible beyond the logic 
that your mind tells you, because again, back to the pharmacist, like we're used to, it has to be a certain way. This is how I launch. This is the strategy. And what I do is I blend the energetic and transformation piece of releasing these, you know, I call them blocks and barriers that hold us back to empower you to then implement the strategy, because we know that there's the idea, like say that someone has an idea and then there's the time that goes in between before they actually implement it. Mm -hmm. And what's in between is all our stuff. So all of the resistance, the protection, the defense mechanisms, the doubt, the fear. And so that's part of what we can explore together so that we can heal that, heal ourselves to be able to then lean in with our patients and with, you know, the people that actually need to hear the message. But if you have a message that no one's hearing or that, you know, you're not really connecting on social media, like say you're posting a bunch of videos, but your heart isn't connecting, then what's the result going to be? So I love to work with, you know, energy and helping you to connect with yourself, to transform yourself so that when you show up, there's power, you command a room, you go, this is what, this is who I am. And that, that soul client is going to say, I want to work with that person. And it's communicating your brilliance and it's the strategy of course, but it's also this deeper work. So we're going to be playing with a lot of that. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be doing all sorts of fun things that are surprises um, we have a speaker panel, we have, um, you know, different training CE sessions, you're going to get 10 hours of live CE. So that's just a little, a little bit of a taste. I don't want to give it all away, but I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about it. Yeah. And we're going to have some vendors as well. Yep. You said, yeah. I mean, the CE alone, for those of you who are thinking, you know, I don't know if I can take some time off of work. Well, it's part of your professional development as well. So I think it's a it's definitely a win-win uh, for sure. And I'm so grateful that you're able to offer CEs as well. Yeah. You know, it tells us that, you know, the ACPE, they find it to be important for us yep. to kind of, you know, that delve into some of these interests outside of just the rote uh, pharmacy work that a lot of us, you know, started off doing. So that is that is super, super exciting. So yeah. why, why do you think, uh, Dr. Christine, it's important for uh, healthcare professionals? Because I know this is um, not just for pharmacists, right? It's for yeah. other healthcare professionals. Why do you think it's important for healthcare professionals to uh, kind of explore entrepreneurship or explore these other, you know, interests outside of, you know, the day-to-day because when you do something you love, when you Ooh. use the gifts that God gave you, there is no greater joy that your patients are going to get, that you're going to get, and you are nourished by your giving. I, I'm actually going to be teaching about this at the Healers and Healthcare Conference. I call it wealth, 5D wealth circulation. So you have resources inside of you. So often we're looking out there for where's the money, where are the clients, da, da, da. when you circulate your gifts that you are your God given gifts mm -hmm. through your knowledge, through your communication, through your vibration out into the world, and you do it from a place of power, you can't help but be successful. And I actually, you know, I watch you and I'm like, I, I tell my husband, I'm like, look at this amazing. This was months ago. I said, look at this amazing woman. She's showing up. Talk about wealth circulation. You are always giving and mm -hmm. having people on live. And you inspired me oh, to you start you know, with my healers well. in healthcare. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I see you. I, I really do. And I feel like mm -hmm. when you circulate that out, you're naturally going to receive and it doesn't, it, you don't need to know how. And so that's the principle that I want to teach because I feel that, that so often we're waiting. Well, I don't have the money yet. I don't have this yet. I don't have that yet. Mm. But when you tap into those resources within you and you unlock that, that's when you can circulate your wealth and then you receive abundantly in return because you're doing what you love. And that is, is true success to me. So. Yeah. And I'm with you. I was working um, on a talk that I'm going to be giving and one of the things that I will be discussing is how I think healthcare professionals are the ones that can heal 
a lot of our healthcare care system woes. And so yeah. part of it is tapping into those gifts that are outside of just the rote healthcare that will, you know, bring in uh, that, that joy that you mentioned, that's going to just completely transform patient care and thereby completely transform uh, the system that we, we currently have. Um, so Dr. Christine, who would you say uh, this event is for? Could you give us, you yeah. know, an overall idea? Like, do I have to be experienced? Do I have to be a service provider? What if I'm interested in creating a product? I mean, who, yeah. who is this for? This is for the pioneer that is a rebel that is ready to do things differently, that Ooh. it's really more so of a frequency. It's, it's not, it's less of the, like on paper, like this is what you like, Oh, a person that is, uh, you know, an oncology pharmacist or whatever. It's more so the frequency of, I am ready to elevate my energy to the next level in, in my business to make a bigger impact in the world. So if that is you and you're ready to disrupt our broken healthcare system, essentially, and be an empowered healer in healthcare that will create a domino effect in the world, then this is for you. That is really, to me, the core of who this person is. I love that. I love that. So guys, I see that we have quite a few oh. uh, people that, that joined us on Facebook, the YouTube channel, LinkedIn. Feel free, my friends, to leave your questions in the chat. I know that Christian is uh, collecting any and all questions along the way. Uh, I see you there, Christian. Uh, welcome, welcome, everyone. So tonight we're doing something a little bit different. I'm seeing it with Dr. Christina Fontana. She is a fellow pharmacist at ARMS, but she's also uh, an entrepreneur, a health coach, uh, as well as a coach for other coaches <laughs> or aspiring coaches who are looking to do something different. And we're talking uh, all things entrepreneurship, as well as uh, sharing a special, an extra special invitation to an event in Cincinnati, Ohio. So feel free to leave your questions for those of you who just joined. I wanted to give a just a quick intro because I think this conversation is is one that um, is just so powerful and it's one that we have not had <laughs> yeah. before. Yeah, so I, I'm super, super pumped <clears throat> about this because um, the, the road to entrepreneurship for me, it, it was lonely, not going to yeah. lie, not even going to lie. Y'all. It was quite lonely and just the space, you know, when I heard of this event that Dr. Fontana has put together, I was like, okay, this, this is amazing. <laughs> Wish I had this when I was first starting out. And so I think this is going to transform a lot of lives. Yeah. So guys, just tune in, tap into what um, we're sharing tonight, because I think it's going to change some lives for sure. All right. So uh, Christian, I'm looking on the sheet. I'm doing the best, as best as I can. And for those of you who are like, hey, what's going on with Rachel's voice? Yeah, I came back from the event, y'all, and <laughs> it's been struck throw and all of the things but yeah definitely guys leave a question leave a comment let us know where you are in your journey if you're in that space where you're thinking you know what I'm feeling kind of kind of scratchy like you know what I really need to <laughs> be doing something else this is a safe space this is where you get to say it I know in, in our day-to-day -day, we're not allowed to speak out <laughs> some of our work environment and our home environment is not a safe space it's just not yeah <laughs> and I've been there and that's, and that's the beautiful thing I actually I want to just tell this quick story yeah. so I had a uh, my very first retreat that was out of state it was two years ago and someone walked in and she was like oh well like am I dressed okay I said come as you are and that like, she almost cried because I was like, come here. I gave her a hug and I was like, you come as you are raw and real. I've had people cry on my shoulder. I've had people, you know, have massive breakthroughs and all of it. You, it, it is, it's just absolutely a safe space that you can come and speak your desires and, and share what's on your heart or whatever that might be. So Ooh, I love it. No, I absolutely, 
I love it. And it means, it means the world. It means the world to us as we're starting, you know, this journey again, I so appreciate and I so honor this, this space that you're curating because it's so needed. And it's, 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 I think it's the event that you don't know that you need, right? Like <laughs> you need it, but you don't know that you need it. And, and I'm like, trust me, like for those of you who are thinking, okay, what even is this really, right? Dr. Fonte, how do we like convey? Cause I'm, I'm a skeptic <laughs> myself. <laughs> like, oh, you jumped um, right in. <laughs> right. But no, but cause I know the power of proximity. I know the power of being you know, in a network with others who are crushing it and others who are doing the thing, yeah. but say, I, I, what if I don't know that? How do we like convey, you know, yeah. what it is that you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, I wouldn't know that I needed this until I took, you know, I jumped into entrepreneurship, both feet in, but for those who are just sitting on the si sidelines, they're not comfortable and they know they need to do something else, but they don't know that they need this. This is the bit that you need. So you, I'll say this, and you talked about this before, you can stay uncomfortable where you are and just stay stuck and miserable and crying on the way to work. Cause that was me. I had to take Zoloft. I was having panic attacks. I was miserable, but I had to be the one to take the step. I actually hired a coach for $20,000 back in four years ago. And I never looked back. So there, this is the portal. This is the doorway for you to step into your new life that is not in recreating the same patterns, the same thoughts, the same emotions. You're going to be completely transforming to take your entrepreneurial idea to implementation. You're going to be literally coming up with new. And what if, what if, as an example, I actually just thought of this the other day. This is great. What if this thousand dollar investment gave you access to a million dollar idea, right? So yeah. think about what's possible outside of your everyday, you know, getting up. I, I joke with my husband. I'm like, we do the same thing every day. Like we get up, we have coffee, we go on the couch, we do this, this, this. I'm like, I want like, let's do something different. Let's change up the pattern Let's be around people and foster conversation and ideas. And maybe you go on someone's podcast or maybe that person becomes a client or who knows what, but that's the power of coming to an event like this, because you're going to be learning, connecting, growing, getting out of your comfort zone to create something totally new for your life. So that is the, the best way I can describe it is you're, you're not going to know unless you open that door. <laughs> and join us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And honestly, your best investment is, is in yourself, really, yep. like take that chance on yourself. Because again, honing in on the gifts that, that you were giving, you carry gold, you absolutely carry gold. And I, and I love that. And I know that uh, for, for those of you who are like, okay, what hoopla are they talking here? A thousand dollar idea, a million dollar, like it just doesn't make sense. Cause we're, we're pharmacists, like yeah. things need to balance out, you know, are we going to do, you know, stoichiometry? What's the formula for what it is that <laughs> you're talking about? Right. Guys. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that word joking. in like 10 years. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I just, you know, it just doesn't make sense, but I just want to highlight that it, it's not going to make sense. Um, any investment that I have made into myself, I've received it back tenfold. Yes. Point blank period. Yep. Point blank period. And so I, she's not joking. A thousand dollar investment can be a million dollar idea, honestly, especially when you're given the space, right. To really lean into whatever gifts that you really have inside. When do you really have an opportunity to take a step back, right. And just lean into those gifts and and just, you know, without uh, any barriers, just to dream and to really put yourself out there and, you know, to be held like Dr. Christina mentioned, you know, which I absolutely love. Yeah, she, it's not, it's true story. A, a thousand dollar investment can be a million dollar, can be a million dollar idea. I, I'm just saying, look, and I know we've got the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right? I mean, it's out there. You have members in our community, other pharmacists who have broken away from the status quo and who, you yeah. know, who have seen a massive amount of success. So yeah, we carry gold. We all carry gold. And it's just a matter of, you know, planting that seed and watering it and watering it some more and surrounding yourself with those who will continue to, you know, invest in you and, and, and to water, so to speak, water you <laughs> to grow. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. And you'll leave with the, with lifelong connections. And when you bond in an in, experience in a container like that, Mm. I've had every other uh, retreat that I've ever had. Those people go on to be friends. They're on each other's podcasts. They do business together. So think about, again, what I said before about wealth circulation, like you put that thousand dollar investment out there, Mm -hmm. you go down this path, you're going to receive maybe, Mm -hmm. you know, it's a comp, um, not a compliment. Maybe it's, I, I, I give that example a lot. Like you'll receive things in return. So it might be like a business opportunity or, you know, um, other things that, you know, maybe it's not money right away, but it might be down the line because everybody's connecting and you never know where it could wind up. Yeah, absolutely. So let's, let's talk about something a little bit, um, tactical and and tangible because we spoke about the different, um, I guess, should we call it verticals? Cause I know I'm a pharmacist, but I, I primarily focus on real estate for medical professionals, pharmacists, and other busy professionals, what are some other um, types of coaches uh, that you have worked with or you've encountered oh. in, in your world? Because I think it's, ooh, I got, I got know. a whole, whole bunch in here. <laughs> so this book I this. Mm-hmm. that I wrote with 19 other women, they, okay. because this is this question that you're asking pertains directly to that. Yeah. You What's can create- possible, right? Oh yeah. Financial coaching, spiritual coaching, herbalism, holistic wellness, hormonal health. Mm. I mean, I could go through the whole list, but that's why I wrote that book because, you know, I curated that book because again, I want pharmacists and healthcare providers to see what's possible in entrepreneurship. When you move beyond the counter, that's what it's called moving beyond the counter. I love that. I need so, to grab my, my copy. Seriously. Oh, my uh, we'll God. have plenty at the, I'll give you one at the conference. Oh. <laughs> no, I love that because, um, even with our current health, health care system, you know, there's, we still need a few more touch points, right. Going to see your, your doctor, you know, every six months as a, you know, diabetic that's semi well controlled, you know, I don't think that's enough, you know, with the hormonal therapy, with the herbalism, are there alternatives to what I'm being prescribed right now? So right. those additional touch points, I love that we have pharmacists that are creating, you know, a space so that those, you know, who are able to connect with them can, you know, get those additional touch points, which I think is so important. Yeah. Even, you know, I'll be transparent with my, my fertility journey. I have a coach who actually, so she was my client and has taken like every program that I've had in the past two years, but I hired her as my fertility coach. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just that next level of someone holding you in this space, like a computer, you can't Google for someone to hold space for you. Like I could Google all I want, but she helped me with nutrition and you know, supplements and with my husband and all of the things. And, you know, just that's that level of support that, like you said, it's that extra touch point that, you know, if I have to go to the fertility doctor, I'm like, Hey, what do you think about, you know, how, and she's an expert, you know, she's studied this, she has a certification, all of that. So all of that to say, I really do believe that pharmacists have such a unique just knowledge base and ability Ooh. to scale and and layer their knowledge with certifications, of course, but again, tapping into your innate gifts and your story and the life lessons that you've been through, because I feel that that's really where people connect with you. Like mm-hmm. you could know, you could be the smartest person, but people need to be able to connect with your heart. And that is the true transformation of, you know, because we've all been through trauma and experiences and you know, so if we have a wall up and we're just like up here in our mind and we're telling information, are we really connecting with our patients? So that's another kind of deeper layer of, 
you know, the transformation process is really creating and empowering our patients by connecting with them. And that comes through sharing your vulnerability, sharing your story, right? So I love that. And the thing is, um, I, I know that some people are thinking right now, it's like, oh man, Dr. Christina, I already found this amazing fertility expert. Oh, well, I guess I can't do that. Why do we do that? <laughs> you know, we, yeah, we yeah. Often do that to ourselves, right? And you just spoke about it. The, you know, the vibe you connected with that individual, but does it mean there's not enough room for me to have my own fertility practice? Yes. My own, like, could you talk, could you speak to that a little bit? Because I'm sure you encounter that a lot. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there are so many different things that people are going to be attracted to. It's, it's your energy. You know, there could be somebody that really relates, like, you know, I have a lot of stories that I always share about my, you know, my dad, I have a father, you know, father wound and abuse and all of that. Well, when I share that story, I connect with a certain individual who might also have that same experience. And that's actually what I find a lot is I attract a lot of, you know, women who have kind of similar patterning to what I have experienced. And so when you speak, when you, I call it communicating your brilliance, when you can speak clearly and own your story and say, this is what I've moved through and this is who I help, you're going to naturally, and again, this is energetic. You're going to be attracting and drawing in those people that are aligned with you. So it doesn't mean that just because Rachel is also a business coach that, or, you know, as an example that, you know, there's not more than enough for everybody to, you know, for people to connect with her. And maybe that's, you know, something that they're just being drawn to her for whatever reason. So I would definitely say that, again, this is part of the work that I do with my clients is helping you to own your story so that when you speak out on social media, that you attract that sole client who's like, yes, that is my coach. I can, I just know it. I feel it because you're showing up as yourself in your, in your full self-expression, in your radiance and speaking directly to their heart. So that's what differentiates you is your, your story, um, your, your vibration and how you show up. Like I have a different personality than someone else. And maybe you, that's what they're attracted to. You never know. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that. So for those of you who are thinking, you know what, well, what I'm thinking of has been done before, but not necessarily it hasn't yeah. been done by you. So there's, yes. there's definitely someone, you know, who needs the exact gift that you have delivered in the exact way that you're delivering it and it'll land because it's you, you know? So, yeah. um, yeah, let's not deprive the world from, from your gift. So super, super excited about this conversation. So guys, if you have any questions, you, if you have any, um, any ideas really <laughs> that, that, that you're thinking of exploring, feel free to drop them in the chat we're here with you. If you want to go anonymous, feel free to do so. Email <laughs> me, email me, you know, cause I, I know how it is. You know, I used to be a closet entrepreneur when I first started. I don't know, I don't know who's watching. I don't, oh, you please know. ask questions. I love, I love answering <laughs> questions. Absolutely. And I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop the link again, guys. It is May 5th through the 7th, Cincinnati, Ohio, Healers and Healthcare Conference. This this is a movement, guys. <laughs> Ready or not, this is a movement. Here it comes. And guys, it's gonna be fire. You're gonna don't come. I, I tell my people, don't come crying to me when you miss out because and when you see the pictures you, and the footage, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. And this is definitely gonna be the room to be in. And I'm a firm believer in you know showing up to places where you're not the smartest one in the room showing up to places where, you know, there are others who are just absolutely crushing it. And, and this totally uh, fits the bill. And Christian, I just went ahead and dropped, um, I dropped the, the link in the chat. Actually, Tori dropped the link in the chat. Thank you, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> Look, who am I kidding? you right. Let's just, let's just stop kidding ourselves. Um, Tori's like managing a bedtime with the kiddos and she found a way to drop the link for us. Wow. By the way. 
but I do want to um, share my screen a little bit. That's okay with you, Dr. Christina, because yeah. I want to, I want to kind of move us through. So guys, when you get the link, I'm going to move this over here. You can X out of that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. When you get the link, you can, you'll get this beautiful pop-up and then the amazing Dr. Christina. Look at this guys. Look at how amazing next level guys. I had, uh, by the gift of God, I found this amazing woman who designed this landing page mm. and I'm just like, you're, you're mine. So I'm having her do redo all my other landing pages. Isn't that something? She's so amazing. You're going through a whole rebrand, redo. Up level. Oh, yep. Next level. That's right. Turning your gifts to gold. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and look at these stories. Just amazing stories, guys. Yeah, definitely go through, go through here, guys. Have a look. This is this is happening. And here are our lineup. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the lineup. I think the lineup is, you have a powerful lineup of speakers here. And if you guys do not recognize any of these names, where have you been? <laughs> these are some of the top pioneers. This is like you know, a phenomenal lineup. Dr. Jerika, CEO of Pharmacist Magazine, which I absolutely love. I'll let you go ahead and introduce the lineup real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah. So Dr. Kimber Booth. So a lot of these amazing people I've either worked with personally as clients or there's Katie, there's my fertility coach, um, Todd Yuri, founder of the Pharmacy Podcast Network, Sue Paul. I cannot wait to meet her in person. The, uh, I feel like I know them all through like LinkedIn, <laughs> Dr. Thea Blystone. She's up in Meadville over here. She does um, remote patient care services. Dr. Delon Canterbury, I can't wait to meet him too. He um, he does geriatric deprescribing. Corey Wamsley actually was the uh, the editor of my past three books and my husband's two books because my husband writes books too. Oh, nice. So she's going to be speaking about doubling your uh, business income with a book, which that's going to be wow. such an awesome topic. Rachel's going to be, Rachel is not on this page, but she will be absolutely <laughs> speaking. Um, I'm so, so yeah. pumped. I mean, just even the deep prescribe, I've seen Dr. DeLon on, on uh, LinkedIn. I was like, who would have thunk it, right? Like I'm a pharmacist and my specialization is deep prescribe. It's like, you know, like just the idea. And we know how important it is when the little old lady comes in with that grocery store bag of 26 meds, you're like, this is not okay. Who said that this was ever okay? And so he has created a practice where, you know, he is de-prescribing all of this nonsense and, and there's an obvious role for it, right? Yeah. There's an obvious, and just, I, I just think it's incredible. Well, and even so, just to kind of pause too on, on all of these people, mm-hmm. I I picked them because they really have a servant heart. I talked to Delon. I'm like, you need to be a speaker. I, I like didn't even give him an option. I'm like, you're you're gonna be a speaker. <laughs> but seriously, all of these people, I am really intentional. So the pillars that I build my found my the foundation of my business are integrity, intention, and love. So I mm-hmm. kind of picture like a pyramid. So I picked these people with intention. To really bring together people who have a servant heart to heal. And we're going to be having breakout sessions with, you know, all of these amazing individuals so that you're going to get, even though it's going to be a big event, you're going to get these intimate portals where you're going to be able to pick their brain and say, Hey, you know, Katie Wood, I want to be a fertility coach. How, you know, you know, and asking those questions in a more intimate setting, which I really love. So I've thought of every little nuance of how to make this event something that you can really walk away with, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, a solid actionable plan, people that you're going to be connecting with on LinkedIn that are going to support you and your business for years to come. And I hope that you do business with them and you get to know them, you know, even on a personal level, because all of them, including you, Rachel, are truly Mm -hmm. gifted. And I just can't, I'm so blessed to have them. No, and and I I'm also pumped that you're giving us some of the top tools and and resources that we would need. Like you just mentioned the book, uh, Todd the pot, you know, who's the founder of a podcast network. Yeah. I mean, these are the some these are really really important tools that will help your marketing stack. You know, 
so that you can get the word out there uh, because just, you know, having the talent, having the gifts, but not sharing and having a right. way to share to put it out there. It's not going to make that impact, but you're guys, the right people are going to be in the room. Okay. <laughs> Everything you need is going to be in the room. So I just, oh my gosh, I'm super, super pumped about this. Look at that. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's, do the thing. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. And okay. So, okay. We have early bird pricing for students and pharmacy technicians. And we also have uh, early bird pricing for practitioners. Yep. What is this buy one, get one free lady. So this is yeah. a buddy system. You don't want anyone <laughs> flying solo, honey. Yep. I see, I see you. And this, tra this, and I think it's so important, you know, and I'm going to let you speak, but I have to say something <laughs> like who, who wants to go to an event like this and go back to your hotel room by yourself. And you're just sitting there to have a buddy with you say, okay, all right, girl. All right, guy, what is it? Yeah. What's our next? Okay, go take it. I'm like, okay, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I, so I've had, like I said, many retreats in the past and I realized that it is so, again, it's about creating safety. I'm actually going to be talking about this a lot with the nervous system, because in order to feel safe, in order for someone to really absorb the content, I'm going to be teaching you some different neuro exercises, but it, it also comes down to the environment. It comes down to how I show up and how I present for you to be able to receive what I'm saying, as well as having support. So. When you think about it, when you hire a coach, when you have support, your nervous system relaxes. It's like, oh, I'm held. Or like Tori, Tori's there. You're like, oh, I don't even need to worry. Like she, she dropped the link already, right? So when you have this support, you know, the buddy system, it really mm -hmm. does help create that I am held, I am safe. I can come into this experience and leave with information, a plan, support, even more support. And a, and a belly full of good food because we're going to have some chef chef curated <laughs> meals too. <laughs> so. Yummy, yummy. Yep. And I and guys, I, I will tell you that I, I've met my business bestie, you know, in events like these as yeah. well. So it's, it's just so transformative if you're able to do this, you know, with someone else and bring someone else along for the ride. It's just just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And I love uh, the fact that um, there's 10 hours of live CE credits available, which is yeah. awesome as well. Okay. Now we have early bird. I think we're like right up to the deadline. When does early bird in? Cause we're like so, right there, aren't we? So I did just raise the price. I, so this okay. is, this is reflected. This actually, it's going to be, I think it for the, for the remainder of the time I'm I'll have to see, but okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, don't chance it, but you yep. know, <laughs> buy one, get one free. Come on. Yeah. That's, that's really a no brainer. It's like, oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. is, this is a gift. It's a huge gift. Okay. So who is it for? Who is it not for? So yep. guys, it's right there. <laughs> so, it, pretty much if you're okay with being complacent and staying where you are, then it's not mm -hmm. for you. But if you're like, yes, let's go, then, then you're ready. So I love it. I love it. So here's the itinerary. So Friday we start. Okay. So we start Friday afternoon. We register. We've got the intro session. We've got dinner on our own. So building the foundation, the solid, sustainable foundation to launch, scale your profitable business. Yeah. Foundation work right there, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I love that you get us started. Um and then Saturday and Sunday. So for those of you who, you know, have the weekends off, all you need is, you know, just a few hours on that Friday to ask for half day and yep. then you can make it. So I love that I you're taking fly. that into consideration. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What's this pharma palooza situation? This looks fun. Yeah. So that's funny. Um, so that's kind of a surprise, but mm -hmm. essentially Todd Yuri from the pharmacy podcast, he has been talking about, oh, I want to have Pharmapalooza, Pharmapalooza. It's like a, a party. And he's been wanting this for years. And I've known him for seven years. I said to him, Todd, this is your moment to shine. So, <laughs> so he, we're putting this together. We're going to have music, dancing, some other fun surprises. But um, 
that's all I'm going to say, but it's going to be a party. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I was going to bring in the heat. I'm sure. I love it. Oh, diversifying your income to scale with ease. And I love this, you know, because already what you were sharing about the podcast, the books, and what I love about entrepreneurship, you can take that same content and deliver yep. it in different ways, right? The yep. same, you know, ideas, deliver it in different ways and monetize it in different ways as well. So it's not always reinventing the wheel. Absolutely. Is that what you found as well? Oh, yeah. Well, so actually, and Corey's probably going to talk about this, but even with books, what mm -hmm. I've done is actually just transposed my blog parts of my blog into books before. And I'm like, okay, yes. this is coming in here. <laughs> so I don't have to sit there and rewrite everything. I actually, even my presentation, I'm taking bits and pieces from mm -hmm. um, a past CE presentation that I did. So absolutely. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's efficiency. We're going to be talking yeah. a lot about energetic efficiency too, with um, again, shortening that gap between the idea and the implementation so that it's like, I have the impulse. This is what I feel in my gut. I'm going to implement because a lot of, like I said, a lot of people, there's that, you know, all the fears and the doubts and all that. So we're going to be shortening that big time so that you're pumped, you're ready to take action and you're shortening that gap. I love it. I love it. And sometimes you just need to be in that container, right? Because yes. left to your own devices, you know, we know we <laughs> get in our head and just think, oh, look at this venue. And I've seen this already, right? But I'm seeing it again for the first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So guys, I, I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you who are on the call or watching the replay, because I'll tell you this, um, although you may see me on a weekly basis on this live, uh, you may see Dr. Christina Fontana on, you know, her lives and, you know, in all that she's putting out there, there's nothing quite like seeing and giving a handshake or a hug to yeah. that individual, like in the live setting, there's nothing like it. And for those of you who may be in our DMs, who may email us, who may, um, you know, find us on LinkedIn and we're, I promise you, we want to connect, but sometimes it just, you know, it, it gets lost in the shuffle. But when I have met you in person and you reach out, it's like, oh, this is so-and-so, you know, we met, like, I don't know why, but it's like, it clicks. I was like, oh, you're real. Everyone's real, <laughs> you're a real right? person. You're a real person. But there's something with that connection and it's, yep. it's different, you know, and I'm not saying I'm giving preferential treatment to those who I connect <laughs> with in person, but for some reason it feels you know, because there are spammers out there, of course, too. And I'm not talking about that, but there's like, oh, so, so I remember when we, you know, we had coffee together. I don't know. And oh, yeah. Or an inside joke. Like, we're going to be laughing. Mm -hmm. I make teaching fun. Like, we're going to be having all sorts of fun, too. It's mm -hmm. not this serious, you know, like you need a, a name badge and all of the things, you know, like you need to wear a white coat. It's just come as you are. We're going to have fun. We're going to transform. We're going to be raw and real together. And you're going to leave transformed. That is my goal. It. So I love it. Yep. So that's what we have for you guys tonight. Just show up. Um, yep. You're welcome. We're getting some gratitude oh. in the chats. You guys are welcome. Welcome. Show up. Holler at us. If you have any questions about the event, would love yeah. an excuse to see you in person to hug on you, to love on you. And yeah, see you two soon. Cancerians, what's, what's better? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alrighty guys. I hope you all were inspired. I love you all to the moon and back. I'm going to head back to bed. And get, get feel better. better. Yep. Yeah. Feel better, but I uh, love you guys. And that is all we have for tonight. Bye-bye for now. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you.